Hey everyone, I hope you're having a super happy day. My name is Marian Unicorn and welcome back to another art video. So guys, for today's video, we're actually drawing the Dark Magician Girl. And honestly, yes, I've done this picture in the past. I know that. I know it. Please don't put it in the comment section before I say the rest that I need to say. It'll hurt my ego. No, I'm just kidding. I really don't care. But I have drawn the Dark Magician Girl in the past. And I know you guys, if you have not seen it or you have seen it, I wanted to show you guys the progression that I'm at, and I really wanted to do a different medium. So, with that said, let's get into explaining. So, I wanted to draw the Dark Magician Girl from Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I love the Dark Magician Girl. I don't think there's anyone who has never heard of Yu-Gi-Oh! And I don't think anyone has ever told me they have never heard of the Dark Magician Girl. Because she's just that one iconic character next to the Dark Magician and Yugi that she's just that popular character that everyone recognizes and loves. And that's just amazing that she's kept up her popularity for that long. Now, honestly, it could just be me. It could just be the whole, like, <laughs> um, gosh, what's that word? I always forget that word. But, <laughs> you know, when you're old and you f you just remember things, gosh. To be old, <laughs> to be 22 and old. <laughs> so I really wanted to do a different medium because, you know, I got bored of doing Copics for like a while because I always do Copic markers and it's just like, you know, I want to try a different medium. I tried watercolor and I really liked that. So let's try something cheap, but also something that I have laying around the house. And I saw that I still have crayons when I did um, my, I did like, what were they? They were Cure Flora picture and something else. I remember I did two. I forgot what it was, but I did two crayon videos and I remember that I really did like them. So we did this video because it's nostalgia. That was the word. That was the word I was looking for in the beginning. Someone put nostalgia in that video. So I wanted to like actually do something a bit different because it would be more fun to just try a different medium and see how you are as you progress. And really you can see the level of progression. If I can actually get the picture uploaded, onto the video I can do it and I'll show you the guys the progression that I've been I've had so we can see together what it is but honestly I really did like how it turned out this is really fun if someone's really just looking for just a cheap supply to use but to get the same quality that you can get from any supply with just a little bit of practice crayon is really a good way to go because I got this set for like I think when I checked the store last it was like eight bucks which is pretty good for like a pack of 96, which if you got a pack of 96 Copics, you're getting like $500 away from your pocket. And that's not fun because everyone knows that you like money in this world. So really with that said, that was basically it. <laughs> that was my whole Dark Magician Girl video. <laughs> no, we're just kidding. So since we kind of got off of that, we're going to talk about some random stuff today because I feel like talking about random stuff and some me things because I think that's fun. So when I was doing this video, I had scheduled time off from work because I usually schedule time off when I'm doing videos because I have to do like four videos for the month because my days off are so sporadic at work that they're never really organized enough for me to keep doing videos. So I have to do four drawings and then I have to do four videos, but I have to make sure I schedule time off for those videos. And the day before my day off came, my mother asked me if she wanted me to do anything with her. And I told her that I wanted to take a me day. <laughs> and she just gave me like the meanest look because I think I explained it wrong when I said it first because she was just like, so what do you want to do on your day off? And I was like, you know what? I want to take a me day. And the look she just gave me, she was just like, what? And I had to explain to her, I was like, look, it's like, it's like, it's not like I don't want to do anything with you. It's just, I want to take some time to sit down and do videos because that's a me day. <laughs> it's sad, but it's a me day. <laughs> so, cause honestly, I don't really do anything on my times off from work. I'll sit there and draw, watch TV, you know, I'll kind of just lounge around because it's like, you work hard, you should be able to lounge around or you know, occasionally I'll go outside, but I don't like to go outside for too long because, you know, I'm an artist and we're vampires and we fear the sun. So <laughs> that was that was the only thing 
that was just on my mind when I was doing this picture because every time she would walk into the house, she'd be like, so how's your me day going? I'm like, good, good. I'm on video number two. And then she left the house to go to go, go to Kohl's to get pants. And then she came back and she's like, is your me day still going well? And I was like, yeah, I'm video number four. So <laughs> that was, that was my whole me day. It was just me doing drawings. It was just really funny because I told the girls I work too, and they just kept making fun of me the whole entire time. So note to self, if you're ever going to tell someone that you want to take a me day, just be aware that they're going to give you harsh judgment when you say it. Because honestly, that's people in this world. But honestly, I do think people should take a me day once in a while because you work hard and, you know, you earn that paycheck that you earn. You should be allowed to take the time off that you should be able to take off because that's your time. But with that said and said, guys, that was pretty much it for my rambling. That's all I had. Um, the background wasn't really something that I was pretty fond of. But, you know, who's fond of their backgrounds that they do? Because someone something always messes it up. But with that said, I'm pretty much done with this video. If you do look like the Crayola crayon speed paints and you want to see something drawn specifically for you, please just let me know down in the comments section. I will work on it. It's fun to do drawings. Uh... I do have one scheduled for one person. I won't say his name. I'll wait till a couple more videos because I still have to finish editing that one. But with everything said, I wish you guys all a great day and a great weekend. Please like, comment, subscribe. And if you do have any requests, just let me know and I will get to them as soon as I can. So guys, wave goodbye to the Dark Magician Girl and I will see you all next week. So bye.